Will Smith slaps the fire out of Chris Rock for joking about his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. Wow, man. Was this justified? Was Will wrong? Was Chris Rock wrong? Are there underlying issues? Who knows? Well, I know. I'm going to break it down to you. Let's get into it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. Toast to the men. Good morning, toasters. As you come in, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you have not subscribed. Now, you don't want to be uh, one of these guys that miss out on the content. You want to be notified when this content drops. So definitely subscribe. Now, man, Will Smith. Will Smith slaps the fire out of Chris Rock, man. Right there on the Oscar stage, live. Man, that, that was something, man, when I saw it. And I was like, man, there got to be something else to this. You know, we see what's on the surface. But I believe there's always something behind the surface in the subconscious that's brewing and that uh, that eventually comes out. I talk about this a lot. Whatever we impress up upon the uh, subconscious will be expressed in the conscious world. Yeah, it's coming out eventually, brothers. But let's check this out. Will Smith slaps Chris Rock for telling a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith, Will's wife. Now, the joke was... Uh, that uh, will that uh, Chris Rock said, "Hey, I'm looking forward to GI Jane too." Now, Jada rocks a short cut, you know, rocks a very short haircut, and uh, that's what Chris Rock was referring to. Everyone laughed. Will Smith laughed initially. The joke was funny, you know, but he looks over to his wife. She's not laughing. You know, she looks she looks offended. She looks sad. Will immediately walks up to the stage. Man, Gills, man, comes back from Mississippi and slaps Chris Rock. Uh, Chris Rock shrugs it off, laughs. He took it like a champ. Uh, Will Smith walks back to his seat. And uh, Chris Rock goes, wow, that, that was something. And Will Smith yells, keep my wife's name out your mofo mouth. He says that twice. Chris Rock says, I will. So he says, man, it was a joke about G.I. Jane, but I will. You know, uh, essentially saying, I will keep your, your wife's name out of my mouth. Now, let's go back. Let's go back a bit. Let's go back to 2016. Now, in 2016, Chris Rock was hosting also. And he tells a joke about Jada Smith. Now, at the time, Jada was boycotting the Oscars. I forgot what they were boycotting for, but she was boycotting the Oscars. Chris Rock says, Jada boycotting the Oscars is like me boycotting Rihanna's panties. I was never invited. Now, let's go there, man. Funny joke, but let's go there. Do you not think that Jada has heard this before about uh, the possibility of us not even knowing she exists if she was not married to Will Smith. You know, do do you think she hasn't heard that? Do you think that hasn't been a discussion in their home? Do you think that she hasn't expressed uh, sadness and depression about that and regret or bitterness to Will about, you know, uh, the relationship and the dynamic of the relationship that He's placed on a pedestal, and she not so much. So, you know, maybe Will overcompensates and making her feel comfortable, making her feel confident. Overcompensates, meaning he's unbalanced in doing so. It's not natural. Uh, but him slapping Chris Rock, I believe, was a buildup uh, from years of suppressing his feelings, years of not releasing emotion, Years of being the butt of jokes, uh, years of uh, taking abuse, public abuse from his wife. Imagine what he's going through privately, man. We've seen a lot from them publicly. She embarrassing him about the entanglement with that young man. Uh, she constantly saying Tupac is the love of her life. Her publicly crying over Tupac, uh, saying she misses him. Uh, 
that he's the, the, the greatest man she's ever met. Imagine that, man. Being married to a woman and she's saying the greatest man she ever met was a 25-year-old at the time, Tupac. Now, I think... I think a lot of us, to a certain extent, can handle, she says, her dad, even though that would get old with me, you know. Uh, but let's say this guy, uh, you know, that's not blood, not your dad, is the greatest man you ever met, but you're married to me. Bro, that, that's too much. Will has acknowledged publicly that he was jealous of Tupac. He was very insecure of Tupac. He did not want to build a relation uh, with Tupac because of how Jada expressed her feelings about him. He was always insecure. Uh, and that was one of his regrets that he never built with Tupac because of how Jada felt about Tupac. Come on, bro. This brother's been off balance for a while. He has. Now, uh, let's go back even further. Will Smith has said that he was bullied as a child. He was bullied, uh, got beat up a lot as a child. He suppressed that, I'm sure. Will Smith has said that he witnessed his father physically abuse his mother over several years, and that his father abused him as well. This is what Will has said. He has said that he felt guilt that he never stepped in, that he couldn't protect his mother. He also said later on in life, he reflected on all the abuse his father had given out to he and his mother, and he thought about killing his father. That's heavy, y'all. That's some heavy trauma. And, you know, Will has suppressed a lot. He has. You know, one thing about Will that I always saw that was awkward that he smiles at the most inopportune uh, times. He smiles and laughs just like erratically. It's like, man, that didn't even require a smile. That didn't require a laugh. And I've seen people do this over the years. And I always thought, man, they're suppressing something. They're hiding something. I, I never trusted those people. I never trusted uh, never trust to this day nice people. Uh, I love and respect kind people. It's the difference between being nice and being kind. But the nice people who never rub anyone wrong, who never offend anyone, they do all the right things. Uh, they're so, excuse me, they're so accommodating, uh, so agreeable. Just never ruffle any feathers. I don't trust it. I, I believe they're suppressing stuff, and I always believe eventually it's going to come out. And this is what I think happened with Will. You know, it, it came out. You know, uh, years and years of suppressing stuff, man. Will has always been seen as soft. Uh, I don't think Will gets the respect he should get uh, in the music industry, even though that was, you know, that's over somewhat. Uh, he didn't get his proper respect. Uh, I don't think he gets respect as an actor a lot of times, uh, but as a man, you know, uh, I remember a few years ago, maybe 10 years ago, 19 years ago, a photographer tried to kiss, a reporter tried to kiss Will. Yeah, actually tried to kiss Will on the lips. A male reporter tried to kiss him on the lips. Man, that's total disrespect. That That's an evasion uh, of space, and that's pretty ballsy. For a man to attempt to kiss uh, what's supposed to be a heterosexual married man, it's pretty ballsy. Uh, Will slapped him. I think that required a punch, though. But Will slapped him. And so, uh, you know, there's just been a lot of things suppressed, I, I believe, over the years. And Will exploded. Uh, no, he's connected to a woman. That has publicly abused him, publicly embarrassed him. But how does he get with this woman? See, I, I think he gets with this type of woman, man, because uh, maybe he saw his mother as weak, uh, subconsciously or consciously, and he saw Jada as strong. 
you know, uh, he connected to this type of woman. He was drawn to this type of woman because of the insecurity in, in himself or things he hadn't healed from. Uh, now, him seeing his mom being abused, him feeling guilty about that, he probably in his mind said or subconsciously said, hey, man, uh, you don't you don't put hands on women. You treat them like queens. You put them on a pedestal. I would never do that. Now, I agree you don't hit women. Uh, I believe, man, you shouldn't even let a woman push you to the point of, of cursing her out. Uh, uh, you know, that's me. But I know everyone doesn't have that type of restraint or belief. You know, I get it. Uh, so my, my view is totally different. But he probably went totally, totally left. Totally left. Uh so far away from abuse, so far away from holding a woman accountable. Yeah, so far uh, from setting boundaries with the woman. So far from that, that he became the biggest simp of them all. And he had no respect from his household, from... Uh, his wife, no respect. There was no respect at all because he went so far left uh, with being nice and being the good guy. Uh, brothers, you gotta be, you gotta be somewhere in the middle. Yeah, don't be abusive, but you got to garner respect. You have to. I believe there gotta be a little something in your woman, a little something in the back of her head or the forefront. That says, this man will snap. He will go there. He ain't weak. He will go there. And so that'll cause her to be cognizant and aware of what comes out of her mouth. And be aware about her own actions. Because she respects you. Now she respects your character. She respects you as a man. That's one thing. You know, women can do that. Women can respect your character, respect you as a man. But, man, if they don't feel like you would go there, they'll push buttons. I've seen it. I haven't really experienced this, but I've seen it. And it's not a, it's not a pretty sight, man. So I believe a woman has to know that a man has some danger in him. There's a danger, uh, a, a danger and a violent element to this man. Again, don't abuse women. But I feel like a woman has to know he'll go there. He'll go there. And, and that could be, you know, setting boundaries, man. That could be one of the things that set boundaries. Uh, I don't think we'll ever set that boundary. I, I I don't know them, of course. I would say he, I know for a fact he never set the boundary. Because she's been doing too much publicly. Too much, man. Uh, and she has his brother unbalanced unbalanced. He doesn't know if he's coming or going. He's so unbalanced. Uh, but he snapped, man. He snapped. But he chose the right person to snap with, which is another thing I can't really respect. Uh, subconsciously, he knew Chris Rock was an easy target. Does he do, do that to Will Ferrell? Nah, I don't think so. Does he do that to Jimmy Fallon? I don't think so. Does he do that to David Letterman? I don't think so. And I'll, I'll let you uh, figure out why I think he wouldn't do those, do that to those fellas. Let's go on the other side. Would he do that to Ving Rhames? Would he do that to The Rock? Hmm? Would he do that to small statured Wesley Snipes? Would he? Would he do that to Samuel L. Jackson? Would he do that to Steve Harvey? I think not. I think subconsciously, he knew who to attack. Will is a guy who has been bullied. Will has, is a guy who says he felt uh, weak, not being able to protect his mom. Uh, Will is a guy who has been exposed publicly, been embarrassed publicly by his wife. And uh, nothing in Will's history that we know of says he would have had the same reaction to those guys I named as he had with Chris Rock. 
you know. So subconsciously, he knew Chris Rock was the perfect target, uh, the perfect victim, you know. And so I, I can't respect that. I can't respect that. It was selective outrage, and he he picked and chose uh, who he could attack, who could he uh, release this aggression upon. And and so you know, Will got some some healing to do. He really does, man. He got some healing to do. He apologized for his actions. But he did not apologize to Chris Rock, which was wrong. He got to take that L. He got to hold it. Got to be accountable and apologize to Chris Rock publicly and privately. Now, uh, I just don't think Chris Rock knew about Jada's situation, man. I didn't. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. I think many people did not know. And it'd be pretentious to think we know. Like, we're just that much into y'all uh, that we know that she has this issue. You know what I'm saying? I, I, that ain't the way to handle it, man. You could have took that man backstage and, and, and asked him in a calm manner, you know, what what's up? Did you know? And then Chris Rock said, No, I didn't I didn't know. And and just, you know, so bro, could you could you apologize to Jada, man? You know, privately, could you apologize and let her know you didn't know? You know, you could go that route. Or not go that route, you know? You know what I'm saying? Um you can't go through life, man, wanting to fight everyone and getting offended who says something about your wife, who jokes about your wife, in a professional way, in a professional setting. Got to remember that. Chris Rock is a professional comedian. He's paid to do that. Every host does that every year with the Oscars. They snap on people in the audience. They bring up current events also. Will was wrong. He's unbalanced. and He, he, he had become unhinged. And so, you know... Like, yeah, man, you got to do that shadow work, Will. Uh, but I've been there to an extent. I've snapped as a young man because of pressure, what I was going on going on at home, going through at home. I snapped on a friend. And uh, so I get it. I had to come back and apologize to that friend and let him know it wasn't him. It was stuff I was going through at the house that I wasn't dealing with properly. And so I get it. Uh, I had to hold that L. I had to apologize. Will got to do the same thing. Chris Rock is not wrong. Uh, if he didn't know about the alopecia. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is, man. They got to handle that. They got to handle that as men. Um, but, yeah, Will got to heal, man. <laughs> yeah, I just can't respect it. how it all went down. I can't respect it. I really don't think it's funny. You know, maybe I'll look back on it later. I think it's funny. I think it was weak. And, uh, yeah, you got to deal with that, man. You got to deal with himself. So, yeah, man, let me know what y'all think. As always, from me to you, love, peace.